Hi, I'm Judy Lynn and this is a Your Monday Morning Shift. Welcome. I've been inspired to do a video today addressing anger. So today we'll be chatting a bit about anger and what happens when it arises unexpectedly and how we can most effectively move through it. Here's the thing about anger. It hits you like a lead balloon smack in the face when you least expect it. You're rolling along fine, feeling great, and then wham! You observe something or someone tells you something that really pisses you off. I had this very experience myself just the other day. Someone I love very much called and shared some experiences they're having and these experiences are resulting in this person being hurt deeply. I felt the rage swell up in me toward the people that were implementing all this pain on my loved one. Now, understanding anger is to understand that it stems from a sense of unfairness taking place. And I totally felt that in the shared story. There was an extreme unfairness being played out. Whether my perception of it being fair or not is the truth, really that isn't important. The important part is that it was my truth. And as such, anger arose in me. What normally happens with a scenario like this one is we tend to hold on to the anger. The reason for this is we feel validated in it. The person, people, or situation that we're angry at deserves our wrath, right? We don't want to let it go because we feel that in some way it releases the culprits from the responsibility. If I let this anger go, I'm letting them off the hook. Truth be, it does no such thing. For instance, in my case, these folks don't even know I'm angry at them. It's just eating me alive. I'm dying of the poison, not them. So what can we do about this? First of all, and this is most important, you need to allow yourself to feel it and honor it. Don't try to shove it away and suppress it or cover it up. Honor the anger. Those feelings are real and they're yours. Don't judge it right or wrong. Just honor how you feel. Secondly, Make a choice to not perpetuate the issue further with anger. Releasing it doesn't change anything about the situation. It only hurts you. The best choices, responses, and decisions are made from a peaceful and clear mind, not an angry one. Third, use tapping to quickly shift the anger, not for the sake of anyone's but your own. You still don't have to condone or agree with the offending parties, but you can shift your energy away from them. Don't give your power away by wasting all that energy on them. So let's do a little tapping so that you can see what tapping to shift out of an angry energy might look like. Are you ready? Let's begin with the side of the hand. Even though I'm really angry at this whole situation, I completely honor how I feel and who I am. even though I feel this anger in every cell of my body. I accept how I feel and love myself anyway. Even though this anger is consuming me right now and I really don't want to let it go. I love who I am and how I feel. Let's go to the eyebrow. All this anger in me. side of the eye now. I feel it big time. Under the eye. I'm so angry about this. Under the nose. It feels totally consuming. Chin point. I'm not sure I can let it go. Collarbone. They deserve my anger. Under the arm. If I let it go, I let them off the hook. Wrists together. I don't want to let them off the hook. Top of the head. It's so unfair. Eyebrow. This consuming anger in me. 
side of the eye. I wonder if it's possible to let it go. Under the eye. I'm open to the possibility that I can let this anger go. Under the nose. I have a choice to be angry or not. Chin point. And this anger doesn't hurt them. It only hurts me. Let's go to the collarbone now. I choose to let it go. It won't change them anyway. Under the arm. It's safe to let this anger go and replace it with peace. Wrist together. Peace of mind and of heart. And top of the head. Letting it be and letting this anger go. Great job. Tap as many rounds as you need until you feel lighter and can no longer really connect with the anger. Just in making a choice to not waste any of your time or energy on it, you'll feel better. And after all, when you take care of you first and give yourself some of the good stuff, you have a whole lot more good stuff to give back to your loved ones. So stay true to you. And remember, life really is what you make it. So go out there and make it your own.